Jam on toast! Hey everybody, today we're here to talk about Top Gun. This is a Source Shed Movie Club review, so I guess we better get to it. So the short sale on this one is that a hotshot pilot gets sent to this top tier flight school called Top Gun, and he has to deal with the loss of his co-pilot. I don't see how to uh, not spoiler that, or the fact that that's really all there is to this. My love it for this has got to be the scene after where they're both like, you can be my wingman, and Tom Cruise and Val Kilmer just start going and sucking each other off, and then they just bang each other's butt. What do you mean? That wasn't it? What happened? They don't know what they're talking about. My hate it for this has to be the uber masculine military vibe that's just throughout the whole movie. I have just no interest in it at all. Uh, and uh, every pilot I've met seems to have a god complex. I don't know if you need one in order to want to do that sort of thing, or you get one from operating that sort of hardware. The study could probably be conducted with automotive gearheads, but who has the time? The MVP of this movie was Tom Cruise, because it couldn't have been what it was without him. Let's get the categories. Aesthetics. The production guys must have worked really hard to get all those shots of those planes in the air and from the cockpits and to try to sync all that up and you only notice the repeat shots so many times. Stakes gets an 85. Character development. Pilots are assholes. Character development gets a 20. Storyline. Apart from one other scene, all the movie was in the short sale. Pilot who shouldn't be flying planes at all gets selected to go to advanced flight school. During training he loses his co-pilot. At the end of the movie, he tries to cope with that and ends up saving the day. Because how else are you going to end that? Storyline gets 10. Compulsion. If SourceFed wasn't doing this, I wouldn't be. There's about half a dozen moments within the first five minutes that I would have turned this off. Compulsion gets a 5. If you total everything up, you get an average of 30. There's no one I can relate to in this entire film. There's nothing anyone's doing that I care about unless it happens on a battle star known as Galactica. Having been in the American military, I can tell you that guy wouldn't have been flying planes after the second tower buzzing or whatnot, let alone the fifth, let alone got sent to a specialized school where I don't know what they were learning if he was already such a good pilot. Unless you're just into planes, or you feel like being nostalgic because you already like this movie, I suggest you skip this one. Go try Stealth and see what you think of that. You don't want to hear any more from me. I'm Camry. Have a nice day.